So sneaking drugs into a jail, into a prison, that has been around forever. However, the newest way of doing this involves using lawyers, if you can believe that. And you're going to learn all about it in today's episode. In today's episode, this is going to be a quick one, but we're going to talk about the newest way that criminals have found to sneak drugs into jails, to sneak drugs into prisons, and they're using criminal defense lawyers in a way to do it. If you enjoy the episode, hit that like button for me. If you have a comment, put it in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, you guys know it. I love it when you share me on social media. So let's talk about sneaking drugs into prisons, into jails. This has been around forever, and we all know that this basically occurs. And I could talk for hours about the various ways that people do this, but we're just going to hit some of the highlights over the years. Now, originally, we used to have people, family members, visitors, when they would visit people in the little visiting area, they would slide them the drugs, right? They would put it in a hollow book, or they had ways where they would just give something to the inmate that had drugs somehow hidden in it. And that was pretty, that went on for a long time. Obviously, the corrections officials, they grew wise. And so now usually when you have visitors, they're screened and they make sure that they don't have any contraband on them uh, when they go into the prisons or into the jails. And a lot of times there's no contact allowed at all. Uh, It's got to be between and glass. And so you don't have the ability to do that. So other people have learned that, well, if I want to sneak drugs into the jail, let's say, then I need to hide it. And so people started, I call it keistering it, right? They take the drugs and they shove it up their ass or they put it in their vagina if there's a woman or I guess they have multiple places to hide drugs, right? So that was how people then began to sneak drugs into prisons and jails, right? Well, that led to the corrections officials discovering that and Now we have cavity searches. So when you're booked into a jail, usually you'll be inspected as to things uh, that you might have stuck in various places that's not, uh, well, where the sun doesn't shine, right? We say that. So people then realize, well, I can't just shove stuff in my butt and hope to get it into the jail. I need to do something else with it. And so people started swallowing drugs. They put it in a baggie and they swallow it. Uh, Then later you do the poop and scoop and you have your drugs, right? If it doesn't explode in your stomach and and cause a death. However, most of the time it doesn't. The problem with the swallow it technique is you can't get a whole lot of drugs in. And it's kind of a one-time deal, right? The quantity is limited. So more recently, people have been using drones to drop drugs into the rec yards of various prisons and jails. Now, People have, uh, corrections officials have learned about this too, and now it's illegal to fly drones anywhere near jails or prisons for that very reason. So that's just some of the history of sneaking drugs into jails and sneaking drugs into prison. But there is a new one that just came to my attention here in the last month or so, and that is using lawyers and legal mail. So let me explain. First and foremost, When you have mail that goes in or out of a jail or a prison to an inmate, somebody takes a look at that, right? It's going to be one of the corrections officers, and they're going to inspect the mail to make sure what's coming in is not doesn't have drugs in it or something like that, or what's going out is not inappropriate, right? So they make sure the mail coming in or out is not offensive or contain contraband. There is an exception to legal mail. Now, legal mail is generally taken to the inmate and opened in their presence. So they don't open it in a separate room and go through it. They leave it sealed until they get in front of the inmate, and then they open it. And, of course, they look inside, but they don't read the letter. They just look inside to make sure there's no contraband in there, and then they give it to the inmate, right? So there's an exception or a different way that legal mail is treated. So here's what happens. I got an email from a U.S. Marshal who they are the ones who oversee the federal individuals, inmates who are in custody, and they're either in custody in a jail or in prison. And here's what the 
email said. It said that these criminals that are in prisons and jails are recreating lawyers' letterhead. So they're taking if a copy of my letter. It's done on a word processor, the letterhead is, so you can recreate it fairly easily, uh, you know, in 30 minutes of tinkering with the fonts. So they're recreating lawyers' letterheads, and then they're typing some basic letter on there, and then they're putting it in an envelope, and they're putting legal mail on it, and they're mailing it into inmates, right? So it's going to be treated differently, this letter, because it's legal mail, right? However, with these pieces of paper, with these letters, they are soaking them in drugs. They're soaking them in, they're using, they've seen acid, they've seen K2, they've seen meth, they've seen heroin. So they're soaking these letters, supposedly from a lawyer, to an inmate in drugs. And once they, they get in there, they have this letter and they just rip tabs off and everybody gets high, right? So this is the newest way that inmates are sneaking drugs into jails. And I got an email from a marshal saying, hey, we're changing the way we handle legal mail because they're using uh, your letterhead. It wasn't just me. It was sent to several uh, lawyers in the criminal bar here in southwest Missouri, but they're using letterheads from lawyers to get treated differently and to sneak these acid and drug-soaked letters into the jail. So now the corrections officials, we send something to my client, they take my letter and they photocopy it so that the paper isn't tainted. So they use their own paper, they photocopy it over, and they give it to the defendant. Now, of course, the drawback to that is they can look at and potentially read the legal mail uh, as it's being sent to the inmate, but that is the price I guess we pay for the ingenuity of criminals who have developed a brand new way to actually use lawyers and lawyers' letterheads to sneak drugs into correctional facilities. And that's the episode. I told you it was a quick hitter. I just wanted to share with you that information. It's kind of uh, ingenious and amusing to me, uh, the ways that criminals always continue to think of ways to get around the law. If you like the episode, hit that like button. If you got something to say, comment below. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do so. And as always, I love it when you share me on social media. My name is Joshua Roberts, attorney at law, and you've been watching Lawyer Up. Send lawyers, guns, and money. 